Hey guys, it's Jared with Tech Toy TV, and today we're going to be taking a look at Google Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi mesh networking system from who else but Google. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so we've got the Google Wi-Fi here. Let's unbox this and see what's inside. You have the three Google Wi-Fi pucks here. One of these is gonna be your main router, and then the other two are gonna be essentially extensions of that network. And that's gonna help you eliminate some of those Wi-Fi dead zones that you have in your home. So let's see what else is in the box. We have the power adapters for each of the Google Wi-Fi uh, pucks. Okay, and then on this one is attached a, let's get started. And it's a simple directions, plug in your first Wi-Fi point, then connect to your modem, download the Google Wi-Fi app to set up Wi-Fi at any additional points. An ethernet cable, so that's what's included in the box with Google Wi-Fi. Let's set this up and see how it performs. So we are deep down in the depths of Tech Toy Studios. You can see here we have our Orbi system, which currently runs the Wi-Fi in the house. We are going to disconnect this and replace it with the Google Wi-Fi, and we'll see how they perform next to each other. All right, so let's get that done. All right, so you can see the USB-C connector there on the bottom of the Google Wi-Fi. I'm just gonna plug into that. All right, so we've got that plugged in. Now we're gonna take the ethernet cable and we are going to plug it in here. Let's go get the app and we'll take a look and see how we set this up. So we downloaded the Google Wi-Fi app. We're gonna hit that. So I accidentally unplugged the mic from the camera, which left us with no audio, but these are just basic menu prompts. The one cool feature was scanning the QR code on the bottom to register the first Google Puck. Other than that, it's your typical stuff of network name, password, and just generally following directions. All right, so we're here in the luxurious guest suite of Tech Toy TV, and we are going to uh, put the second Google Wi-Fi access point here in the guest room because it's on the opposite side of the house, about midways from where we put it in the basement. Open up our app. You'll see that we have it plugged in. We'll click next. And this is going to be bedroom. All right, so it says that the Wi-Fi point is out of range. Looks like this Wi-Fi point is too far from your primary Wi-Fi. Move it closer and let's try again. The Orbi was actually able to connect in here, so that's a little bit uh, disappointing, but we will try a little bit closer. So we're currently here in the Tech Toy TV editing suite. I have placed the Google Wi-Fi puck here. Hopefully this will be close enough to establish a connection. Let's get the app out and see. So now it's asking to test the Wi-Fi point. We're going to test it. And it says everything is good to go. All right, so let's go place the next Wi-Fi access point, which is going to be in another office here at Tech Toy Studios. All right. It says Wi-Fi has poor connection. So we moved it a bit closer, and now everything is good to go. So I wanted to compare the performance of the Google Wi-Fi versus the previous system I was using of Orbi. Here you see download speeds and they pretty much are the same. The Orbi does come out ahead just a slight bit over the Google Wi-Fi, but not anything too significant. Now we're looking at upload speeds and this is really where the Orbi shines and comes ahead of the Google Wi-Fi and is the clear cut winner as far as upload speeds. And now you'll see the final results and the Orbi did come out ahead of the Google Wi-Fi. So that's our look at Google Wi-Fi. My first impression, it's a great system. Google hit all the right check marks with a quality build, a great price, speed, and range. As you saw, it's very comparable to the Orbi system we were using previously here at Tech Toy TV. And at 
Google comes in as the cheapest Wi-Fi mesh networking product on the market currently. I think anyone these days can benefit from a Wi-Fi mesh networking, especially with all of the Wi-Fi devices we use day in and day out. And realistically, it's gonna help you get rid of those Wi-Fi dead zones in your home. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to stay up to date for more videos, hit that subscribe button down below. For more information on Google Wi-Fi, there's a link down in the description. And we'll see you next time. More of our prod, blah, blah, God, I can't talk. Ah, shit. Uh, extensions of your. <clears throat> Thanks for watching and checking out Tech Toy TV. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to share and hit that like button. To stay in the loop for future videos, click the subscribe button. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Till next time.